Russia has only three MiG-31K aircraft left with which to strike Ukraine, according to Ukrainian aviation expert and analyst Konstantin Krivolak. They have three MiG-31Ks left. On August the 26th, there were three Kinzhal strikes. On August the 27th, there were three Kinzhal strikes. This means that they have three MiG-31Ks left because our two strikes on the Savas Leka airfield yielded results. Maybe there are more 31Ks there that can be repaired, but at the moment they have three Kinzals. He emphasized on the air of the Kiev 24 TV channel. The expert noted that where there are no Patriot or SAMP stroke T systems, it is impossible to shoot down ballistics. He also heard that F-16 aircraft should have helped in this matter, but this is not the case. There are no such aircraft in the world, no air-launched missiles that could destroy ballistic missiles, period. There is nothing more to talk about here. Either we have the Patriot and the SAMP T, and then we shoot down the Kinzals and the Iskander M's and all other ballistic missiles, or if we don't have them there, there will be hits. This must be clearly understood, Krivola stated. Recall, as a result of strikes on the Russian Savas Leka airfield, between 25 and 50 percent of the enemy's MiGs may have been destroyed. These figures were reported by the editor-in-chief of the Ukrainian military portal Defense Express Oleg Katov on Radio NV. He recalled that in an interview with an American publication, the head of the main intelligence directorate, Kirillo Budanov, had already officially announced the destruction of MiG-31 aircraft during the attack on Savas Leka on August the 16th. As for the number of damaged aircraft, Ukrainian publications citing their sources quoted quite serious figures because perhaps we are talking about up to six MiG-31s being damaged. Because according to optimistic estimates, there are about 24 MiG-31K and if one is destroyed, that's already great and six are damaged, then we are talking about 25% of such aircraft. According to the more realistic estimate, they are 12, that is, one squadron, then these are already 50%, and these are very, very serious losses. Comments cut off. He noted that he has reviewed all threat warnings that have been issued by the Air Force recently, and it is clear from this that there has not been a MiG-31K threat from Savas Leka for a very long time. The MiG-31K aircraft is a modification of the Soviet MiG-31 interceptor fighter designed to carry and launch Kinzhal hypersonic missiles. The crew of this aircraft consists of two people, pilot and weapons systems operator, and the maximum speed is up to 3,000 km an hour. The combat radius of the MiG-31K fighters is about 1,500 km without refueling. The Russian Federation actively uses MiG-31K to launch Kinzhal hypersonic missiles against Ukraine's critical infrastructure trying to inflict maximum damage. In this regard, attacks using MiG-31Ks pose a serious threat to the civilian population and infrastructure of Ukraine, so large-scale air raid alarms are often declared during takeoffs of these fighters. Although Kinzhal missiles are considered extremely difficult to intercept due to their high speed and maneuverability, Ukrainian defenders have shot down such targets before. For example, in May 2023, the Ukrainian Air Force reported successfully intercepting six Kinzhal missiles using Patriot air defense systems.